Hi everyone, Theresa May went on uh, CBS the weekend, did an interview in which she said that she said that she is firmly committed to the Iran deal. I'm just going to quickly show you how The Hill reported on that interview. Said Iran continues to uphold commitment to a nuclear pact, says Theresa May. British Prime Minister Theresa May said Iran is holding up its end of the nuclear pact that the US withdrew from earlier this year. Quote, we believe that that should stay in place and others uh, involved in putting that deal together believe that that should stay in place. She's uh, referring to France and Germany and some of the other members of the EU. May, May said in an interview aired on Sunday in CBS's Face the Nation, quote, we do agree with the United States that there are other aspects of Iran's behaviour that we need to be dealing with too. So looking at the issue of ballistic missiles, looking at the way in which Iran is acting in the region to destabilise the region, we need to address those issues too. Right, okay. That is bollocks, is what it is. Iran isn't destabilising the region. Iran knows that they are the target. So they are doing what they can to defend their country. That's what's happening. The people destabilising the region... That will be America and Israel and Saudi Arabia. They're the people destabilising the region, not Iran and definitely not Syria. She continued, but we also want to ensure that we have a nuclear deal in place that prevents them from getting a nuclear weapon, May added. Tensions between the United States and Iran have been heightened in the months since the Trump administration withdrew from the Obama era Iran nuclear deal, which offered Tehran sanctions relief in exchange for abandoning its nuclear program. Trump had decried the pact as the worst deal ever. The U.S. has since reimposed some of the sanctions lifted in the deal, potentially crippling the Iranian economy. Is no potentially about it. It is crippling the economy. Other signatories of the 2015 agreement, including the United Kingdom, France, Germany and the European Union, Russia and Iran, have pledged to remain committed to the deal. The U.S. has suggested countries that continue to do business with Iran, such as the United Kingdom, could face sanctions. So not content with sanctioning Iran, not content with sanctioning Russia, not content with sanctioning Venezuela, its so-called enemies, the American government now wants to sanction its closest ally, or are threatening to sanction its closest ally. They are going to have no friends left pretty soon at this rate. Why is this all nonsense? Because it is. It's all nonsense. And that's the reason I'm reporting on this, by the way. I'm reporting on it because it's nonsense. Rouhani, uh, this is the Times of Israel, a few days ago, Rouhani. US asks Iran for new talks every day. Every day. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani on Saturday said the United States sends Iran requests, quote, every day to hold negotiations. Following his decision to withdraw from the deal, meant to limit Iran's nuclear program and reimpose sanctions, US President Donald Trump in July offered to hold unconditional talks with Tehran, an offer rejected by the Iranian leaders. Quote, from one side they try to pressure the people of Iran, on another side they send us messages every day through various methods that we should come and negotiate together, Rouhani said in a speech shown on state television, according to Reuters. The US says, quote, we should negotiate here, we should negotiate there, Rouhani added. We want to resolve these issues. Should we see your message or should we see your brutish actions? And this is why it's all nonsense. We know they want regime change in Iran. They do. They want it. And if you don't believe me, here is Rudy Giuliani the weekend saying exactly that. Max Blumenthal tweeted this out. Shout out to him because he's, he's excellent. Well caught. Just listen to what Giuliani says here. So now tell me that you're not a serious threat. If the regime we're trying to overthrow sees us as a threat, you are a threat. It is a reality. The protests are getting worse. I don't know when we're going to overthrow them. It could be in a few days, months, a couple of years, but it's going to happen. They are going to be overthrown. The people of Iran obviously have now had enough. The sanctions are working. The currency is going to nothing. They're where Russia was. They're where Poland was. We see signs of young men and women saying, give me some food. We saw a sign of a man trying to sell his internal organs for 500 American dollars, probably a fortune in Iran today. This is truly pitiful. These are the kinds of conditions that lead to successful revolution and, God willing, nonviolent revolution. 
So there's Rudy Giuliani there, openly saying we're trying to overthrow them, openly saying they see us as a threat. Well, you're trying to overthrow them, and you have been trying ever since 1979, so... And even further back than that, to the 1940s, if you like. But he's openly saying there that the US is trying to overthrow them, and then, unbelievably getting a round of applause after saying the sanctions are causing the people to starve and to sell their internal organs and then people are applauding him yeah well done well done great is it any wonder that iran doesn't want to negotiate with america why would anybody anybody negotiate with america around the world why would anybody want to do a deal with america why would Russia or Iran or Syria or Venezuela, any of them, want to do a deal with the American government based on their history of just ignoring whatever deal that they have given? Who pulled out of the JCPOA? Who were the, one, who were the ones who actually broke that agreement? It was America. It wasn't Iran. Theresa May has said that they're upholding it. They're the end of the deal. It was America that pulled out of the deal. Who pulled out of the IBM Treaty? Who put out, pulled out of the IBM Treaty with Russia? It was America. It was George Bush. Who were, who were the people that told, uh, told Russia um, after the Berlin Wall came down, we won't extend NATO one, one inch eastward? Who were the people who, t who had that agreement with Russia? It was America. And where, where's NATO now? Oh yeah, there's two countries right on the border of Russia right now that are in NATO, and there's about to be a third with Macedonia. There's a heat, and that's just going back the last couple of decades. Honestly, I could go back way further and just give instance after instance. The point of this video is to just explain to people all of this, all of this talk about the Iran deal, all of, it's all smoke-filled coffee house crap, is what it is. What Giuliani said there, that's the truth. They want regime change in Iran. They have done ever since Iran took their country back in 1979 from the Americans. Let's not forget, 1953 they overthrew the first democratically elected government of Iran with Mosaddegh at Churchill's request, by the way. It was Churchill that requested that. He actually requested it of uh, Truman. And Truman said no. Then he requested Eisenhower. And that's when the CIA coup, coup started. And that's when they split up the oil reserves. And it wasn't until 1979, after 26 years of a brutal dictatorship with the Shah and the Savak. wasn't until 26 years of that that they finally overthrew the country. And um, American media look at 1979 as if, oh, look at these crazy Iranians. 26 years of oppression they suffered. And the American media are like, oh, look at that, 1979, weren't they bad boys? It's all smokeful, coffeehouse crap, this is. They want a regime change in, the, in Iran, and they will do anything, anything to get it, up to and including all-out war. Never, ever forget that. Don't get mislaid by stories like these saying, oh, we're trying to come to some to sort of a deal, because they're not. They want regime change. They have done for over seven decades. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and click the bell below. Independent media voices like mine are being centered across all social media platforms. So please share my videos everywhere you can to spread the word. If you can, please become a patron. The link is below as well. A dollar, two dollars, five dollars a month, whatever you can afford. It really helps. I cannot do this without your support. Thanks very much for your support. Until next time, peace and take care.